Then it's Greg with Solar Energy. Today we're going to do a retrofit job here in our uh, conference room. We're going to remove two 32 watt fluorescent um, lamps and replace it with two of our T8 LED uh, GPS tubes. This is model G5. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the existing ballast and two of the lamps and then we're going to replace it with the two um, uh, T8 LED lamps uh, and, and uh, do a light test before and after. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start a, um, a light test and uh, we have a light meter hooked up over here. We'll, we'll uh, take a look at the before and after and we'll show you what the light difference is uh, dropping down from the 32 watt lamps to the T8 um, uh, LED tubes. We'll do an energy comparison and uh, see where we stand. Now we've got 53.2, 53.3 foot candles. Uh, this is the point where we're measuring it right here. And um, if you look up, you'll see the uh, fixture. We're going to remove two of those 32 watt fluorescents and we're going to replace it with two of our um, T8 LED tubes. This is again, this is our model G5 uh, with an external power supply. We call that G5 EPS. The thing you have to do is, of course, remove the existing lamps and ballast. So we'll open up the cover here. and place this on the ground. We're going to remove the two outboard uh, lamps. The reason we're doing it like this is this particular building is wired up in a Title 24 configuration, which means on the wall we have uh, two switches. One of the switches will turn the outboard lamps on, the other switch will turn the inboard lamp on. Okay, we're going to remove the two outboard lamps and then up on the top of the fixture inside you're going to have two covers depending on the fixture that you're working with uh, the cover may screw on or in most cases it's going to hinge off and uh, come on over here mr. cameraman and let's take a look at how this comes apart this point right here you see there's a little flange right here here and here Squeeze it and remove it like that. Carefully take this cover down. And in this particular case, I still have the power on only for demonstration purposes. Under normal conditions, we'd like you to remove the power first. We're converting from a fluorescent ballast. In this particular case, this is an electronic ballast. Um, coming out of the ballast are um, wires. Some ballasts require two wires per side of the fluorescent lamp. Um, the reason for that is there's usually a filament on the end of the lamp. These um, uh, ballasts are electronic ballasts which only use a single conductor, as you can see, to um, the uh, tombstone. Now, the reason this has two is because it's just continuing on to the next tombstone. And we want to do the two outboard lamps as we talked about earlier. We want to do uh, this one and this one, which in this case would be up like this. Okay, so we're going to leave the center one alone. Now in this particular case it makes it simple because the center tombstone is connected to its own separate um, ballast. So all we're going to have to do is remove this particular ballast and then we need one wire from one side of our driver and one wire to the other side of our driver. So it'll wire up very similar to the way that it is today, uh, but we're using actually a single driver per LED lamp. So very important to remember, we're using one single driver per LED lamp the drivers will come matched for the lamp. So in other words, the power or the energy that we're driving that LED lamp, um, we're going to make that determination when we send out the driver that will be matched to the lamp. So in this particular case, we're going to be installing two of these. One of these drivers will be for this outboard lamp. The other driver will be for this uh, lamp. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to um, 
remove this yellow wire from this tombstone and then I'll connect this yellow wire to one of the drivers and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to remove the wire out of the tombstone. A technique that I've used successfully in the years has been turning it, uh, giving it a turn like this. And so I'll try doing it like this first. I'll remove this tombstone here. And then I can turn this wire, get a little bit of a pull, and you can see it comes right out. So um, I'm going to use this wire to go to one side of my driver and the other wire to go to the other side of the driver. Now, another thing that's important to note, on the driver you're going to have your primary input wires, which is white and black, and then your secondary output wires for driving your LED, they are marked red and black for positive and negative. However, the way we've designed our LED tubes, we've made it to where you can't make a mistake. You can put the red wire on either side of the lamp, it won't make a difference. So don't worry about the polarity on the secondary or output uh, side of the lamp, okay? Um, uh, you do want to make sure that you connect the uh, black to the hot and the white to the neutral. So we'll go ahead and get started wiring this up. You do have the ability to mount them with screws, although that's a little bit time consuming. I prefer to use a uh, VHB type tape, foam uh, medium, and uh, it uh, provides a very, very strong method of attachment. First thing we want you to do is to clean this surface with alcohol and clean this surface with alcohol. Cleaning with alcohol is if you don't, obviously the VHB will stick well to the dirt, but not to the uh, metal fixture. It just takes a moment as you can see and you'll ensure that your uh, driver is not going to fall down after a few months. On this particular case I'm going to mount the driver to the fixture with the power wires headed towards this connection here. And then for the second fixture I'm going to mount it right behind it power wires going the same direction. Okay, now we'll make a connection. Um, these power wires will be going to our primary input power. The output, the secondary output from the two drivers, one set will go to this um, LED lamp and one set will go to this one. I'll go ahead and make the connections and we'll um, go over the connecting uh, the wires after I'm finished making the connections. Okay, I've made all the connections. Let's uh, zoom in here and you'll see what I've done. Um, the input wire from the building is right here. As you can see, we're feeding two different circuits. One of the circuits, this uh, black and this white wire, goes to this ballast which I'm leaving in place. That's for the center lamp. I'm leaving that uh, lamp in place and I'm replacing the two outbound. So I remove the uh, ballast and in its place I put the two drivers. I've connected the two drivers up to the primary input power as you can see here. The white which is my neutral, the black which is my negative. I've made the connection here. You can see one uh, wire going to this driver, the other wire going to this driver and so on and so forth. And then the outputs, I've made the connection. The black output from the, this driver goes over to this lamp right here, and the red goes to the blue wire, which is going over to this um, tombstone for this lamp here. And uh, this driver here, we've got the uh, red going to um, this lamp and the blue going to this lamp. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the cover up and uh, neatly cover all this stuff up and then we'll put in the lamps. One end like this and the other end at an angle and slide it into position. Okay, let's put the cover back on and then we'll do a light test.